Dominican Republic's top financial regulator issues crypto warning. Latin America regulation crypto lacks the credentials to become legal tender, superintendent of banks claims. Last updated August 21st, 2024 at 1430 GMT3. Author Tim Alper, author. Tim Alper, author, profile share. Copied last updated August 21st, 2024 at 1430 GMT3. Why trust Crypto W is with over a decade of crypto coverage. Crypto W as delivers authoritative insights you can rely on. Our veteran team of uh, journalists and analysts combines in-depth market knowledge with hands-on testing of blockchain technologies. We maintain strict editorial standards, ensuring factual accuracy and impartial reporting on both established cryptocurrencies and emerging projects. Our longstanding presence in the industry and commitment to quality journalism make Crypto News a trusted source in the dynamic world of digital. Our assets read more about Crypto News. The Dominican Republic's top financial regulator has issued the nation's citizens with a warning about the dangers of investing in crypto. Per Asento, Alejandro Fernandez, the Dominican superintendent of banks, said that the official position of the monetary board toward crypto was one of prudence. He also told Dominicans that crypto did not have the credentials to become legal tender in the country. Dominican Republic, crypto doesn't have what it takes to become legal tender. The monetary board is the body that governs official bodies, such as the central bank of the Dominican Republic. Fernandez said that there were risks and challenges inherent with the use of a technology that is still evolving and that does not have a specific regulatory framework in the nation. The official position regarding crypto assets is basically one of prudence, an alert to the population about the risks that crypto assets can pose. Alejandro Fernandez, superintendent of banks, Dominican Republic, crypto is volatile, regulator warns. Fernandez added that while cryptocurrencies have gained popularity globally, they do not meet the requirements to be considered legal tender in the Dominican Republic. He went on to note that crypto displays signs of extreme volatility. He added that tokens represent dangers to investors because of their speculative and unregulated nature. Additionally, Fernandez said that while some people are drawn to the absolute freedom of crypto, tokens could also be used to fund illicit activities, and cyber blackmail campaigns. The regulator conceded that blockchain technology has innovative potential. However, the superintendent of banks called on financial authorities to prioritize crypto user protection and education about the associated risks of crypto. Hernandez said that education and user protection measures should become a priority for Dominican regulators. The superintendent of banks further warned citizens to improve their online security practices. Or he explained that citizens should not share sensitive personal information or passwords on public networks. And Fernandez underlined the public's need to be cautious with suspicious messages. He said citizens should be especially careful when receiving links sent by WhatsApp that could potentially result in account hacking the Latin American Financial Action Task Force has previously warned the Dominican Republic to shore up its crypto regulation. Crypto popularity and adoption rates remain high in the nation, with crypto exchanges like Binance continuing to expand their operations in the country and the greater Latam region. Follow us on Google News.